In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to create an in-game variable or target and how to use it in conjunction with an alias. A target is a, is a term that games use for a variable. Most clients like CMUD, Mudlet, MushClient all use the term variable. Our games use the term target and that is because in the game they are normally used to target players, mobs, uh, or other things with attacks, tells, or commands. Alright, so as you can see, I'm already logged into my character on Achaea. You'll notice there's two creatures in the room, an orc and a goblin, and I have uh, dumbed them down so they should be really, really easy to kill for purposes of my demonstration. Alright, so if you remember, there's three commands that we use in conjunction with aliases. Uh, one is set alias, which we use to create a new alias. Uh, the second one is alias list, which will allow us to display any aliases that we have made. And the final one, clear alias, allows us to delete any aliases that we have made. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new alias with a set a alias command. And I'm going to create an alias called KM, which is short for kick monster. So kick, and I'm going to type an ampersand before my monster. All right. That basically makes this right here a target, which means I can change what the monster is. I can change it to be the orc, I can change it to be the goblin, or anything else that I want to fight. Alright, so if I do alias list, you can see that it is listed on there. So now I'm going to set that monster target to uh, goblin. Now to do that, there's three commands that we use to deal with targets, and they're exactly the same as the alias ones. We have set target, which will create a new target. Uh, target list, which will list any targets that we have, and clear target, which we use to delete a target. All right, so I am going to set target, and I'm going to set the monster target. Notice I did not put the ampersand in front of that, and I'm going to set it to goblin. Okay, I'm going to click that, and now if I do target list, you can see that the monster target or variable is set to goblin. So now when I type in the alias, KM, it should try to kick a goblin. All right, so I'm going to hit that, and bang, I automatically kick, and then of course the, the goblin's dumbed down, so I kill him with one kick. All right, so bang, I'm done with that. I want to switch to a different target. I'm going to go back up here to my target list. Now I want to attack that silly orc. I don't like him, so I set my target monster to orc. And now if I do KM, same exact alias, bang, I hit, oh, I but I missed but I swung at the orc. Let's see what happens when I recover my balance. Bang, I'm able to kick the orc to death. So um, that is an example of how to ta use the target in-game targeting system with the in-game aliasing system. Now, of course, if I want to get rid of it, if I look at my list here again, target list, I can get rid of that with a clear target, um, and I want to get rid of the monster uh, variable. Bang, and I've gotten rid of that, and I can clear uh, alias. I want to get rid of my, um, oops, I want to get rid of my KM alias, and I've gotten rid of both of those. All right, so that's, uh, once again, an example of how to use those two systems. Uh, if you have any questions about in-game aliases or in-game targeting or variables, go ahead and ask on the forums, and we will help you out.